when a woman enters the home of a man, her role is to increase his wealth. It's a foolish one that lessens his wealth. That's what the scripture is. A foolish woman will lessen his wealth, but a wise woman builds the wealth of her husband through wisdom. So any man you meet, eh? Any man you, you enter into his life, even you that have not married, mm. you are in a relationship, mm. he cannot be the least he can ever be is the least you met him. Exactly. That is why the scripture will say, He that finds a wife uh. has found a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Meaning that because he has found you, he has found favor. Uh. He has found you, he has found open doors. Mm. He has found you, he has found what more business opportunities. Mm. But you say that today's ladies, what we do is that we are in relationships and we are looking for what to collect from the man. Ladies, are you here? Single ladies. Uh, he has to buy me a recharge card. He has to do this one for me. He has, how, why can't you be in his relationship and start showing him how he should make more money? How his wealth can, his estate. Do you know that in the rental culture, in the rental culture, it was said that this, the women were the ones that managed the fortunes of their husband, the estates of their husband. It was the women. That is why Proverbs 31 is not a far cry. Okay. Because that's why you understand Proverbs 31. When the woman, you know, Lemon's mom was saying all the things she was saying. It is what the women do. They were, they were industrious. So their role was to manage what he brought in, what he had. And today, our problem today is that the men don't want to even tell us what is in the account. <laughs> Am I not saying the truth? Pastor Matt, you're here. Men, are you, isn't it true? You, won't tell, you don't want to tell your wife the full picture of your account. Because you know that once you tell her, eh, okay, needs a eh, shoe. Eh, Ngozi needs to go to market. Eh, problems will start to spring up. Women, is that not what happens? So they think that they cannot trust us with their finances. However, the, we, are, we are supposed to be the kind of people that they should be comfortable to tell us exactly 2.2250 kobo in my account and be comfortable and go and sleep. But if they tell you that information, they can't even sleep because they're afraid. We are there to do what? To increase their wealth. There is this one they call Oriako, I think. The other one is what? Odoziako. Is there any other type? Obiageri, which one are you? From what I have said, which one should it be? Odoziako, we are the ones to keep it. So please, how do we keep it? By wisdom, by prudent management. We must learn how to be prudent. It is not everything that people wear that you should wear. Don't let us, you see, we like, we like too many material things. Let us keep material things for a little and start looking for how to save. The next time your husband tells you he has money or your fiance says he has money, say, ah, where do we invest it in? That should be